It is a particular pleasure to send you greetings from the World Health Organization headquarters in Geneva. Today, you are celebrating a special day, 30 years of the Brazilian AIDS program. It is certainly no exaggeration to say that for the last three decades, the Brazilian AIDS program has had a huge impact on the health and well-being of Brazilian people. In addition, the example set by Brazil has greatly influenced the global AIDS response. I remember that when few people believed that antiretroviral treatment could be an option for resource-limited settings, Brazil made an unprecedented decision to provide ART to all those in need. This courage inspired a global movement, later known as the 3 by 5 initiative, spearheaded by WHO, as a call to make HIV treatment available for everybody in need, regardless of where they live and who they are. Today, more than 14 million people are on treatment globally, a huge success. And the egalitarian approach that drove Brazil's HIV response remains as valid as ever. Globally, there are still too many people who don't have access to treatment because they are poor, young, engage in sex work, use drugs, are men who have sex with men or are transgender. Brazil has shown that the call for equity is not just political lip service, but can be matched with practices on the ground that help close this gap. We still have a long road ahead of us. The global community has set new, even more ambitious targets. We cannot take our eye off the ball now and let that unique opportunity pass. After three decades, the Brazilian AIDS program has lost nothing of its drive and I'm confident that it will continue to serve as an inspiration for the global HIV response. I truly regret that I cannot join you today in person for this celebration, but please let me reassure you of my admiration for your collective achievements. Please keep up the energy and the resolve for the years to come until we end the AIDS epidemic.